Safety first. Hello and welcome back to the channel and I am actually genuinely excited about this uh, little review that I'm about to do. Um, check out some boots that I have. These are some, not all, uh, because boots last a long time and, and uh, you know, whenever they do, you don't always throw them away because you go, well, there's a lot of life still left in that boot and I don't want to throw it away just yet. So, <laughs> and certain boots are for different things. Some, some boots are dressy. I know it doesn't look dressy to you, but you know, it is. I'll polish that up and they're nice little boots. Uh, this is really dressy, really dressy. These, this is this is really nice boot right here. Um, so the point of me putting these out here is because I want you to know something before you watch this video. I am a boot connoisseur. <laughs> I like my boots. I pretty much live my life in boots. I know what it takes to make a quality boot, or well, I know a quality boot from a cheap boot. Um, so, with that being said, all right, these right here are the cheapest boots that I currently have. They are, I'll go ahead and just throw it out there, Georgia boots. And um, it's not like these are they're known for their high quality or anything like that. But some of you guys have them. They're logging boots. I do some pretend logging. <laughs> but um, I got some really nice boots here. And I was contacted by a company, Hysia. And, um, you know, I just was like, you know what? I've been contacted by other companies that want me to review their product and, and stuff. And I was just like, nah, I have no interest in that because I don't want that product. And, uh, but with the, the, these, I was like, you know, they, I saw the website and I was like, you know, it's a good looking boot and I could use a pair of boots. And I fully was expecting um, them to just be junk and uh you guys know me i'm if you watch the channel i'm honest to a fault it'll get me in trouble so let's get these out of the way here and if you're watching this and you're going oh Bodie, please don't turn into a channel that reviews everything i won't but if it's good like if i'd gotten these boots and i didn't like them I would not be doing this video, but that was not the case. So let's check these out. They come nicely wrapped up. Look at that. Each one of them has their own little baggie. That's an extra set of shoestrings. That's an extra set. I didn't even know that was in there. I did open these up and look at them last night, which is what allows me to have the excitement that I have. Good looking boots. <laughs> Good looking boots. I'm telling you. So, all right, so let's take a good look at them here. I'll have um, B-roll footage of these uh, to put in here. So, what I'm impressed with is, number one, they're real leather. Um, they are real leather. They are not... They're not fake, and they don't seem to be cheap leather. They are legit. Uh, number two, the crepe soles. The crepe soles have, have always been around. They've been around for a long time. But here recently, we've seen a resurgence in their popularity. 
uh, because of the hipsters. Thank you, hipsters. We appreciate you. Um, so uh, basically, they're just a nice, soft, comfortable sole. Now, some manufacturers don't quite understand that, that word soft. So what you have is, if you have soft soles, they wear out quickly, right? So what they've done here is they have the nice soft crepe sole, but they have covered it with an outsole, like an outer layer of uh, good rubber that should last. I don't know, I can't speak to that. I just got the boots. Um, the other thing that they do have is they have a legitimate Goodyear welt. Uh, the legitimate Goodyear welt is important and it is definitely a mark of quality. Um, I, it does appear that the Goodyear welt is a plastic type of material. It's not leather, but it's still going to work the same. You can unthread this sole and rip off, rip it off and then resole this boot. Now, will it last enough, long enough to actually resole it? I'm not certain of that. I can't speak to long, the longevity of this boot. Quick interjection, the company does offer uh, a lifetime guarantee on these boots. So, that seems pretty good to me. I mean, I you know, I don't know how well they're going to back that up, but they say they will. But I can tell you, it looks like it's built to the same quality standards of an Ariat type of boot, um, which I am currently wearing Ariat right now. So um, I, I think that's a good brand. That is not a, a knock, right? Um, but what I am most impressed with, what I'm most impressed with by far is the price point. And that's why I'm excited. Um, some of those boots that I have, guys, that I had up here, um, some of those boots are over $300. So um, not everybody can afford a boot like that. And I, I totally get that. Am I saying that these are as good as those $300 boots? No, I'm not saying that. Not at all. Not even close. But they're a $140 or $150 boot. And right now they're $69.99. That's where I'm so impressed. I am very happy to be able to tell you guys this is a good boot. This is a good boot. The, I will get to what I don't like about it, but as of right now, I mean, if you're looking for a decent pair of boots under a hundred bucks, it's hard to find that. It is very difficult to find that. You, you're right there. You're hoping that you found it. You buy something that looks good online, but then you get it and it looks like total crap in person. Uh, this is not the case here. This is not the case. Before I forget about it, let's talk about sizing. I, in tennis shoes, Reeboks, Nikes, Converse, Vans, any of those things. In tennis shoes, I um, wear a size 11, okay? In boots, in quality boots, mind you, I wear a size 10. So, um, that's weird. Boots, they run large which means you need to get a size smaller. If they're quality boots, if they're cheap boots, lots of times you have no idea. They're all over the map. Um, but these right here, perfect. I ordered a size 10, perfect. They fit me just like my $300 boots fit me. Um, better. Size 10 was just slightly too small. Um, so anyways, these, no, these are good. If you wear a size, <clears throat> In regular tennis shoes, if you wear a size 10, order these in a size 9. You'll probably be good. Um, but yeah, they got a nice cushion uh, insole, whatever. Uh, I think that I covered the uh, quality of it pretty well. The Now the things that I don't like. Now the things that I don't like. 
The good thing here is it's completely subjective. I'm not talking about the quality of the boot. I'm talking about personal, personal preferences. Um, my personal preference, I live in Georgia. It does not get cold here. It does not get cold here. Quit putting insulation in our boots. Um, it is difficult to go and find a pair of boots without insulation, period. It is difficult to find that. Um, it is extremely difficult to find a pair of made in China boots. I'm certain these are made in China. Yep, made in China, right? It is almost impossible to find a good pair of made in China boots, which, which means they're affordable, right? That doesn't have insulation in it, okay? My feet run hot and I do not like insulation in my boots. I do not like that at all. So, um, stop putting insulation in our boots. I don't want them. But uh, the other thing is these are low, low cut, cut boots. And for a low cut boot, um, these are a little high. I think they market these as seven and a quarter. I'd prefer if they didn't have that top eyelet and just went straight back, you know, or just make that your line. Because I like to wear these things, like I, I wear them in shorts. I know, I'm an old guy and I'm a dad and I got a wife that loves me. I'm not out to impress anyone. So I'll wear stuff like this in shorts, which means I wear ankle socks. And so I like, you know, if these right here, the ankle socks would be beneath the top of the boot. Uh, but yeah, thoroughly impressed with these boots. If you use the code lumberjack on their website, uh, you'll save 10%. Now I am doing this video today and I'm likely going to actually post the video today or tomorrow. And so if you use the code and it doesn't quite work yet, um, just give it, you know, wait until tomorrow because I'm brand new to this and I mean, I'm not getting any money from it. I got a free pair of boots that I like, but um, I want to, I, I know I've got a lot of subscribers that don't make no money, you know? Trust me, I've been there. This isn't me slapping you in the face or anything. If you want a good cheap pair of boots, wow, this is the best I've ever seen in my life. $69, and if you use the code LUMBERJACK, you'll get 10% off. Winner, you know. Uh, I think they'll last, too. I mean, I think they'll last. So, I'm going to put them on right now, and, well, no, i got to get some B-roll footage first. Then I'll put them on. But, uh, yeah, check them out. Uh, have links in the description, and... Um, yeah, don't be afraid to spend 69 bucks on these because you'll be getting uh, a pair of boots that are considerably more valuable than $69. Seriously. Um, yeah, these are... I wouldn't be sho shocked at all it, to see these on the store shelves for $129. You know, the, these are nice boots. Got a nice little thing on the back there to little extra protection on the heel. Honestly, I think that's more about the looks than anything because when do you need your heel extra protected? <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah. All right, B-roll footage time. <laughs> 